Hey guys, okay, so I wanted to make this quick video because you know I have a lot of new suppies now and um, You guys know the ones who've been following me for a long time. You guys know that uh, when I started my channel um, I did a lot of TTC videos for those of you who don't know what TTC means. It's trying to conceive um and I haven't made one of those videos in a while because obviously I am not trying to conceive at the moment. But I know a lot of people have like a lot of questions and stuff like that. I recently received a message from a subby, a new subscriber, <laughs> who um who saw my introduction, the introduction to my channel where I talk about, you know, the variety of videos that I bring out on YouTube, um, you know, and one of them being TTC videos, videos about fertility, infertility, miscarriages, trying to conceive, uh, stuff that I've struggled with in the past myself. So um, please feel free to send me messages, questions, comments, whatever you want. I will continue to make these types of videos because I know <clears throat> there is still a large percentage of my viewers are out there who are actually from the TTC community and still watch my videos for those reasons so please by all means if you have any questions please please don't hesitate to contact me feel free to ask all the questions you want I've in the past I've shared my story my battles and struggles with infertility with miscarriages and stuff like that so um, you know, obviously those videos are go way back. So like sometimes it's hard to find a video on someone's channel when they have so many videos. I mean, I have over 800 videos on my channel. So I know it's hard sometimes to find something specific that you're looking for and it's hard to go back way back so many videos. So I'm just going to give a quick, you know, <laughs> we'll try to make it as quick as I can, a quick overall, you know, a quick overview of um of everything in regards to my fertility, my struggles and whatnot. Okay, so really quick. Um I struggled with infertility for many years. Um when I was married to my first husband, we tried to conceive for 3 years and we were ne never able to have children. Then I married David, who is my husband now, and we had our son Samuel we got pregnant um March April May we got pregnant two months right after um we got married so it was really quick and I was so shocked because like I had struggled with infertility for so many years for so long and I never in my life thought that I would get pregnant that easily so we had our son Samuel and uh, when he turned two in 2007 we started trying to conceive and we were having a lot of struggle. I wouldn't get pregnant. And uh, my my old OBGYN back then had diagnosed me with uh, PCOS. Um, and although he didn't run any tests to officially um, diag do a, a diagnose, but he went just by what he saw by the symptoms by my struggle with infertility uh you know being overweight and everything and the insulin resistance and he automatically assumed that what i had was pcos so um into so we were trying for two years after my first son and nothing until finally in 2009 i got pregnant and i had a miscarriage it was uh, actually a blighted ovum when they did the ultrasound there was no baby in there so the doctor explained to us that actually what that what a blighted ovum means is that um the egg and the sperm meet and you know there's conception conception occurs but for some reason it stays there nothing happens the baby doesn't develop doesn't grow so therefore your body miscarries that so when they did the ultrasound at six weeks uh, there was an empty sack so basically that's what a blighted ovum is it was an empty sack the baby didn't develop so my body miscarried it um, then we continued to try as soon as I recovered from that miscarriage and I was in the clear um, we continued to try and then in 2012 we got pregnant again and at around seven eight weeks I miscarried that baby um, 
so it was it was awful it was it was heartbreaking you know we've gone through a lot with miscarriages and you know it's a very awful experience <clears throat> especially when your heart yearns so much to be a mommy and you've tried for so long and finally you know you see that positive after you know negative pregnancy test after negative pregnancy test after negative pregnancy test you finally see a positive you know and you finally look forward to you know finally having another baby in your arms and and you lose that pregnancy is very crushing and very heartbreaking so trust me when I tell you that I understand what that what that feels like that's why I extend myself to other people in the TTC community and you know my heart goes out to all those women out there struggling with infertility and miscarriages because I know what it feels like so okay so three months after that miscarriage in 2012 I miscarried I will never forget it was Labor Day 2012 uh, three months after I'm sorry my nose is just three months after that um, miscarriage I got pregnant with my rainbow baby who was my baby number two uh, my son Jacob um, so but before all that could happen those three months I spent it getting healthy cleansing my detoxing my body working out eating clean eating healthy cutting back on carbs and sugars and loading up on proteins and you know I just got my body ready and healthy for a pregnancy and I got pregnant with baby Jacob so um you know and I started taking I was taking maca root I was taking prenatal vitamins folic acid I was juicing every day juicing is awesome because it cleanses your body it detoxes whatever was causing your body or your hormones to be out of whack and was causing you to miscarry juicing is awesome because you juice your 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 natural you know fruits and vegetables and you're cleansing your body so I believe that's what I did I got in the internet and I was so mad so mad after that second miscarriage I said no more I'm going to Google I'm going to research get on YouTube whatever I can to get myself healthy and I did and that's how I was able to carry a baby to full term again by getting healthy so um, forward back to now <laughs> my third son baby Caleb was a total surprise I was overweight I was not trying I was not eating healthy I have no idea I mean only a miracle of God could do that only a miracle of God and you know if you guys look back on my videos something that I've always said to the TTC community and to everybody who watches my videos is this never give up don't ever lose hope because there is nothing if you believe in God there is nothing impossible for God so don't ever lose hope don't ever give up keep trying keep trying don't there were many times that I felt like giving up and I'm glad I didn't I'm glad I didn't because I always heard that still small voice inside of me telling me don't give up don't give up you know sometimes I wanted to but my heart something in the back of my mind and my head always told me not to give up so that's the same thing I tell you ladies out there if you're trying and if you've struggled as much as I have or even worse don't give up don't lose hope because for God there is nothing impossible you know and yes obviously getting healthy and you know doing whatever it is that you have to do you know to prepare your body for your body to be healthy obviously do it but let me tell you something when God wants to bless you he will bless you no matter what because like I said baby Caleb <clears throat> was a total surprise I found out I was pregnant with him Thanksgiving weekend and Thanksgiving it was I couldn't stop thanking God for the awesome miracle that he continued to do in my life I was not trying I was in another you know stage in my life where I was pre preoccupied with other stuff and not trying to like think about having another baby although you know I always wanted obviously I wasn't gonna stop at baby Jacob you know I my husband and I planned out that we would keep trying for the baby girl <laughs> um 
but God had other plans. Hey, another baby boy, but it's a blessing. And we love our, our sons so much, you know, and boys are such mommy's boys, you know, boys take care so much of their mama. So I'm glad and happy after all that I ended up having my three boys because it's just amazing how much they love me. And of course they love their dad, but they're so attached to me. Like they take such good care of their mommy. It's like incredible. So anyway, like I was saying, it's just, you know, sometimes it's not our plans, it's God's plans. And if he wants to bless you, there's no devil in hell and no demon in hell and no hater in hell that could stop those blessings from coming your way. So, you know, that's my story. Don't lose hope. I'm going to keep making videos about TTC, about trying to conceive, and I'm going to share with you guys all the stuff that I did, all the vitamins I took, the progesterone cream that I used. I've talked about this many times before in my videos, but I don't mind repeating myself because like I said, I know it's hard to go back on so many videos in my channel. You know, I have almost 900 videos in my channel so I know it's crazy to try and find a specific video so I don't care how many times I have to repeat myself and make these videos as long as it helps somebody out there that's struggling with infertility and miscarriages so guys please ladies stay tuned well and men too because you know I guess men could benefit from these videos too because and I have made and you know I will continue to make videos if, if you're interested in that as well um articles that I've researched and stuff that I've read on very helpful tips for to boost your fertility not only for women but also for men and by the way maca root which is what I was taking uh, when I got pregnant with with Jacob my second son is awesome for both men and women it boosts your fertility and it balances out your hormones and is awesome so this is not only for women men can take it too so anyway, stay tuned to my channel. I will continue to bring videos on fertility. And please leave me comments. Ask all the questions you want. I do not get annoyed. I love when people ask me questions because I love to help. And I love to share my story with others out there if it could benefit them. All right, guys. I'll see you in my next video. God bless. Bye-bye.